Hi there, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Natasha, welcome to my channel. This video is the next in my Club 100 series where I take 10 products that I've used 100 times and I feature them and I induct them into the Club 100 of all the other makeup products that I've used more than 100 times. The majority of the 10 products I'm talking about are makeup products. I do have one perfume and one skincare product and I'm gonna start with the eyeshadow palettes because number one, it's pretty rare for me to use an eyeshadow palette more than 100 times, but on top of that, to have three to talk about in one video video is kind of a big deal and I think the re main reason for that is because usually in my pan those eyeshadows project I'm rotating through different palettes all the time so I'm never really sitting with one palette long enough to use it a hundred times but if you've been keeping up with me on Instagram or watching any of my get ready with me's where I talk about the things that are happening in my life ended up just getting really busy with um, big life events. I just really didn't have as much time to film so I wasn't putting out as many videos and I wasn't taking part in the Pan Those Eyeshadows project so I was kind of just wearing whatever I wanted and because I was so busy I wasn't really spending a lot of time creating different eyeshadow looks and so I kind of just stuck to two main I guess comfort palettes ones that had shadows that I could use all the time. They went with all the other face products that I was wearing and they kind of were just really easy to use. Those two palettes are the Pillow Talk Luxury Palette Quad from Charlotte Tilbury and the Soft Glam 2 Mini from ABH. These are both very neutral palettes and the majority of the looks I could create with them were really soft and easy. I only needed one or two, maybe three shades to get the desired look that I wanted. I wasn't playing a lot with color. I didn't need to worry about having to blend. These are really soft and blendable shades. I even used up one, this cream shade here, Tempera. That one I use a lot. The matte cream shades are usually my most used shadows to begin with. So that one I actually used up. I hit pan on Dusty Rose and I've made very, very significant dips in three out of the four shades from the Pillow Talk Quad. These are really great everyday palettes for me. I do still pull them out and use them on occasion. They're just really great fallback palettes, comfort palettes for me. The third eyeshadow palette is this limited edition one from Tarte. It's the Make Believe in Yourself palette. And I think the reason I did hit 100 uses on this is because one of the shades was in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project. And just trying to hit pan on that shade alone, I think it took me over 50 uses to do so. I love this palette. I wish this hadn't have been limited edition. I think it's beautiful. You get so many beautiful jewel tone shimmers. The shimmers are so pretty. Trance is like one of my sh favorite shades ever. It's a beautiful um, light taupe and it the shades on here are so foiled and so beautiful and I've had this for years. It still performs the same. This will at some point expire I'm sure. I bought it when it really wasn't even available anymore so I don't even know how old this palette is and I'm gonna really really be sad whenever I do have to eventually get rid of this. Hopefully that won't be for a very very long time. I have two lip products here. Again lip products especially lipsticks um, are very hard for me to hit that 100 use mark. And the first one is this lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. It's in the shade Live It Up. I really don't have a lot left. I've been actively trying to pan this for part of my Partners in Cream project pan. I really, really love the K-I-S-S-I-N-G formula from Charlotte Tilbury. I love the scent. I love their color selection. Um, this shade Live It Up is a really light, more cool toned, bright pink. It is a little bit lighter than my natural lip color. And I used to really, really love shades like that. I liked Sugar Cane from Bite Beauty. I liked the shade, I think it was Native from Urban Decay. Those really light bubblegum pink shades. I used to really enjoy those. I don't use them as much nowadays, but if I pair this with a slightly darker lip liner or something with a little bit more brown in it, I can create a shade that I really enjoy still. So I still really like this lipstick. I just use it in a slightly different way from when I did when I first bought it. I am trying to actively finish this because I spent a lot of money on it and I wanna make sure I get all the use out of it as I can before it expires. And I do typically purchase lipsticks with the intention of panning them eventually. So this one is just one of my oldest lipsticks. So it's in my project pan currently. The next one is another Charlotte Tilbury product. I didn't realize I have three Charlotte Tilbury products out of the 10 products I'm talking about today and this is their lip luster in the shade Ibiza Nights and one thing I don't love about this lip gloss is that it does have 
a little bit of shimmer or some glitter particles in there. You can't really feel them on your lips when you rub them together, but they are noticeable. But I like the formula. I think it is a more nourishing formula. It's a little bit thicker, so it does have really good lasting power for a lip gloss. And so if there are any shades from this line that don't have any glitter in them, I would definitely consider getting one of those. I have one cheap product, it's another limited edition product, and it's from a brand that doesn't exist anymore, and that is one of my Becca highlighters. This is in the shade Berlin Girl Glow. The one I have is practically brand new, I'm not even sure if I've actually used this one yet, but I did pan an entire full size of this previously, and that one took me over 100 uses. And even though I have finished an entire one, I am glad I have another one in my collection. I think this is a really beautiful color. Definitely a little bit more of a cool tone shade. But yeah, I mean, in general, I really like the Becca Highlighter formula, but this is just a really unique and beautiful color. Two face products. One that I'm surprised I haven't talked about yet. I feel like I've used this definitely over 100, maybe over 200 times. And that's the Your Skin But Better CC Cream for Mitt Cosmetics. This is my second tube. It might even be my third tube. I can't remember, it's been so long. I've, I've been using this product for so long. Not this tube in particular, but just this product in general. I love that it has a high SPF. I like the level of coverage that it gives. And the creamy formula does help it look really nice and natural on the skin. I still remember going to iMats years ago and we watched a demonstration from a professional makeup artist who was showing how she would do the foundation on a model who was in a commercial who maybe was modeling another makeup product and so she wanted to have a really nice even base to kind of perfect it without it being like the star of the show and I was really surprised to see that she used this product she had it in her kit a professional makeup artist who did like commercial level makeup had this in her kit and I should have had this in a club 100 update forever ago. I just completely forgot about it, kind of slipped through the cracks. The next product is the one that prompted this video. I hit my 100th use today, and that is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Concealer. I'm the shade Light 40N, and this is like the perfect shade for me. Little fun story <laughs> about this concealer. I was on the ColourPop website buying one of the heart blushes that recently went on sale for Valentine's Day, and in order to get free shipping, I was looking at other products on the website to see what I would like to try. And I saw the creamy concealer on the ColourPop website and I noticed that the packaging was the same, but it wasn't called the Hyaluronic Concealer. So I thought it was a different concealer. I thought it was like a third formula that they had. Cause I have the no filter concealer as well. And I like that one too. So I thought I would try it out only to realize that it's the same one is this. It's not a third concealer. It was just named slightly different from what I thought this was called in my head. So should have done some more research. I just bought the exact same concealer that I already own. I really don't know when I'll finish this one, but I'm definitely fine with doing it now because I have now another one as a backup in my collection. But honestly, if I was going to repurchase any of the concealers that I have, it would definitely be this one. So it's not really that big of a deal. The ninth product is a perfume. I don't really feature perfumes that often, but this one is very special. It's Commodity Gold. For a while, they stopped selling it. I don't know if Commodity just stopped selling perfumes altogether or if this particular one was like out of commission, but I'm pretty sure it's back. I'm pretty sure I saw an Instagram ad with someone and they were using this. I think it might've been in a slightly different bottle if I'm not mistaken, but this is a beautiful, beautiful perfume. It definitely has a warmth in there. There is some type of like vanilla warmth in there, but it's not super sweet. It's definitely a lot more sophisticated. I just smell this and I think fancy person. This one lasts and lasts, like you put it on you. If you have it on your clothes, like this will last you forever. If you put it on before you go to bed, it'll stay on your sheets. And honestly, I'm not even like a big vanilla or sweet perfume type of person, but this one just is something special and something that I still really like, even though that's not like my favorite type of scent. And for having used it over a hundred times, I'm still not even close to being halfway done with it. So you get a ton of product. This is the 100 ml bottle, so I think that's the biggest size. Beautiful, I love it. This is one of my favorite perfumes. And the very last one is a cleansing oil. It's from the brand DHC. I got mine from Costco. I'm not really sure where else you can get it. Whenever I was first starting to get into cleansing oils, I asked for recommendations, and a lot of people in the comments of those videos told me that the DHC was a really great one. It was their favorite, it was the only one they ever used. So I saw that it was available at Costco. 
out, I decided to pick it up and it was a really, really big bottle. So I did get over a hundred uses out of that bottle. And it came with a really little mini travel size bottle, which I did use a lot whenever I was traveling back in the day. And I think that's such a great idea because cleansing oil and cleansing balms, those are things I want to take with me when I travel. And so having a little bottle like that of the cleansing oil was just like a really nice idea and I wish um, more brands would do that. The only brand that I can think that has a travel size of a makeup remover like that is e.l.f. They have a little kit of travel size products and then it is their cleansing balm as a mini. But yeah, that cleansing oil was just very good quality. You only needed one pump for your entire face and your neck and it was a thicker cleansing oil but it rinsed off clean. It fully emulsified whenever you got your hands wet and um, wet your face, it would turn into a milky product and it would just take everything off. I thought it was really, really good quality. I understand now why so many people recommended it and why it's so many people's favorites. So those were my 10 newest inductions into Club 100. I'm not really sure when I'll be able to do another update. A lot of my products don't have close to 100 uses on them and it is harder to reach than I thought it would be. Like it's not something that I can easily do with the majority of my products. And I try to wait until I have at least 10 products to share. I can really only think of two or three products in my collection that are close to that 100 mark. I know Chic Geek has turned it into kind of a project pan thing where she is trying to hit 100 uses on a lot of things in the background and she does give more regular updates and I really like how she has it set up. But I think for me, I'm really good with the other project pans that I have going on right now and I'm just going to keep this as like a fun update whenever I hit 100 uses on 10 products, I can share that with you and make it not as structured. Tell me what are some makeup products that you know you've used at least 100 times, if not more. I'd be interested to see what type of products really stand the test of time with you. But in the meantime, that's everything I have. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.